Good afternoon. Relentless temperatures have put New Mexico close to breaking another record. State health officials say the number of hospital visits for heat related illnesses is climbing to new heights. News 13's Jessica Salinas reports. Just too hot, too hot to be outside. New Mexico has been feeling the heat this summer with most days over the past couple of weeks reaching triple digit temperatures. That hasn't stopped many people from spending time outside, some admitting they've ignored heat related symptoms. I've been dizzy before from the heat and uh, I'm stubborn so I wouldn't go to the hospital, but I probably should. For others, the problem haven't been so easy to ignore. This year, New Mexico hospitals have seen a spike in patients due to this unbearable heat. It seems like 2023 is going to be a record breaking year for the number of individuals suffering from heat related illness. And July is a little bit more than halfway through the month and already exceeds the total monthly highs for 2019 to 2021. They also mentioned between 2013 through 2021, annual heat related deaths increased tenfold. Heat related symptoms can include stroke, dizziness, damp skin, fast pulse, headache, confusion, and nausea. If you are um, around somebody who is experiencing those symptoms, try to move the person to a cooler place while you've called 911 and then lower their temperature with cool cloths or a cold bath if you can and then do not give them anything to drink. Health officials stress this can impact anybody. Really a lot of people who fall into the category of they could be vulnerable. So I just wouldn't assume that you don't fall into one of those categories and assume that you're okay and that you can kind of tough it out. Jessica Salinas, CareQE News 13. Since April, the New Mexico emergency rooms have seen 480 visits in one week alone in mid-July. They had 110. We have a detailed look at the heat data the state is tracking on always on krqe.com.